Well, good morning, guys. This is our last day here in the town. And uh, we're starting the day off here at the local office. The Beauty for Ashes here, the office here. It's an awesome place. We're here because we're gonna be organizing all of the school supplies that the kids need when they go to school, I think in a few days. Because uh, the organization has got a bunch of donations of school supplies and it's really gonna help out the, the families and kids here. So I'm just gonna organize that. And oh, before I continue, I wanted to give a shout out to Dalton from West Virginia. Dude, you are so awesome. He saw uh, the video we did a few weeks ago talking about what we're going to be doing here. And so he decided at his local school that he wanted to collect, collect school supplies and raise money for this organization. So Dalton, dude, that is the coolest news that I've heard lately that you're going out of your way to do this with your school to raise money to help these kids. And as you can see, they really need it and they're gonna be so appreciative and thankful for you and what you're doing at your school. So thank you so much. And I'm sure when we come back, when Brittany and I come back to Uganda, um, we'll be able to show you just exactly where your funds have been going, how they've been helping out the people here. And the school supplies obviously are going to be put to great use because there's a lot of kids here. So, thank you, man. And if any of you guys want to do something like that, like Dalton is doing at his school, that would be incredible. And we'd love to have you guys a part of the team and a part of this amazing family and making a difference, not only for yourself and your community, but everyone here. It seriously impacts, so. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning. <laughs> Look at you. You're so colorful. How are you doing? Good. <sighs> yes. Colored pencils. Mac and cheese. Nice. What's going on here, Brandy? <laughs> this is our donation. <laughs> Basically chaos. But yeah. we're so thankful that people around the world will give what they have. And they'll go shopping or they'll find things in their home. And we always want the best. So we do not bring a ton of stuff here because we don't want to crush their market. So anytime we can, we want to buy things locally. But there's always things that you either can't get locally or it's just a special gift. And so this represents hours and hours and hours of other people's work and donations and their sacrifice. And we're so thankful. Rita's our field director and she's going to spend all of February talking about love. Um, <laughs> Valentine's Day and all that. They don't actually celebrate Valentine's Day, but whatever. And <laughs> saying how they're worth it. And we're going to live a life of living loved this year, and so we're gonna start it by giving them some presents that just remind them that people around the world see them and love them. Aw, wish I could see their reactions. <laughs> right? But, just well, knowing. Uh, Rita's gonna take photos. Oh, she is? And video, right? You'll post it on the Facebook page? We, and I'll post it on Facebook. She'll get me the pictures. Yes. And I'll post it on Beauty for Ashes Uganda Facebook page and Instagram. Look, there's a car wash, Uganda car wash. Right here. That's the car wash? Yeah, right just pull over and... Wow. <laughs> All done getting the school supplies sorted out. And now we have to head out to some well opening ceremonies. I'm so excited. And all of the people of the villages are... I can't even explain how excited they are. Fresh water that's closer. Some of these people have to walk miles just to get water. And so now, with the four well openings, that are opening up because of people like you donating four wells. So we're gonna have some water fights, fresh water. It's gonna be a blast today, I'm telling you. Oh, but one thing that was on my mind while we were sorting out the school stuff, guys, be thankful that you all have went to school or are in school or are going to be in school because the people here dream of going to school and uh, what a privilege it is for all of us to be able to go to school. So do your best in school. Enjoy learning. Just have a constant state of thankfulness because it could always be worse. We just got back and everybody is coloring. 
Hey guys. Because we climbed up on the rock. See, we're up on the rock. <laughs> but look at Pastor Moses. He is doing such a good job coloring. That is Wait, really what about good. Uh, look at good. Saidi. <laughs> Really pretty. Dang. Wow. Look at Karen's awesome. though. That one's Yeah, cool. bring it. Blue Dumbo. <laughs> you too? I'm I'm winning. Bread up. Bread up. Bread up. Bread up. Bread up. Bread up. <laughs> We've arrived at the first well. Everyone's outside. We're going under a mango tree here. And they got chairs set up. And they even, this village, hired these guys to sing and come out and do this. See, we were close to this Look at this. You'll be the one holding, no, you're gonna be the one holding the They decorated it and everything. It's just so cool. Yeah! Fresh water! <laughs> Guys, we have moved on to our village, Ojimoru. They are getting a well. So excited. And we got a whole new band over here, and their instruments are so cool. <laughs> How are you? What? Here we go. We're making our way over to the well. Fresh water. You excited, Britt? I'm so, I'm like shaking. I know. So cool. Fresh water for like, I think there's like 800 people total that this is going to help affect and better their lives. Like her, like her, like her, like him. Take me. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Wow, it was a long day. I didn't vlog the two other well openings we went to, but we had to drive quite a bit of ways. The other two wall openings were very similar to the ones that I filmed. So it was a lot of dancing and just a great time, water fights. If you wanna be a part of the next well openings and just more of this, all you gotta do is donate and we are going to open up more wells with Beauty for Ashes and these people are insanely grateful. Some. Uh, one of the previous uh, villages was saying that they have been praying for like 20 years. 20 years for fresh water in a while. So you guys can be uh, an answer to some prayers if that's something that's tugging on your heart. But um, we're back at the hotel now. And we're quite dirty. My shoes are soaked. So it's time to shower and probably get some dinner because it's like 7.30 here. Bedtime. Good night, everybody.